Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Jacob Ross of Heartland Lacrosse. Hey, that rhymes. Um, How's it going, buddy? Good. How are you, Casey? I'm doing well. So um, what a season that you guys had. Of course, you know, I know it didn't end up the way that you wanted it to, but uh, making the championship game, you accomplished, you know, I would say everything that you wanted to. You know, you know, going, beating some of the top teams in the state and, you know, winning a state championship a few years ago. I'd say that's a pretty good, you know, pretty good um, career to cap off with and also pretty good senior year as well. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, we didn't end it how we wanted to. We were really close, but, you know, the season was a, wasn't a complete failure. And especially my high school career, I mean, we still got a ring under the belt. Been the we're the first te- public school to ever beat Rice in the state championship. First, first team to ever beat them twice in the postseason, and even first team to knock them out from ever being in a state championship. So, I mean, it, there was a lot of great moments in my career. Like I could, I could think of tons, but you know, it's definitely going to be sad going away from it. Yeah. And uh, you know, be the state championship game. We we're we we're really close. Didn't go our way in the second half, and. You know, that bit us in the butt, so. Yeah. You know, so I could also say the first uh, public school in the state of Michigan in Division One to win a uh, lacrosse state championship. But, was, you know, I, I know that there you've been on a lot of great teams, um, but to forever know that you will always be a state champion, what will that mean to you? Oh, it's a memory that will be in my mind forever. I mean, the – from that morning of that game till the next, all the way to the next morning, it was, everything was just glory and it was great. So, you know, the things I do to relive that day is a lot. And we almost got there. We almost had that opportunity uh, on Saturday, but, you know, we fell short, but I mean, it wasn't a complete failure. Like we said, we made it all the way there and we made it there with making a lot of like other accomplishments. Uh, accomplishments yeah um so to do like you know you know this season was you you beat a lot of good teams to you know to get there to you know be playing on you know Michigan's lacrosse stadium um what was that like that was what was that experience like for you it was cool it was really cool because I mean I played there once for club lacrosse but you know with like with our whole even like CC's fans brought it. So it was like, it was Heartland versus CC, not only on the field, but on the stands and just hearing Heartland's, the whole town of Heartland going crazy and all of CC going crazy. It was a really cool experience after every uh, goal and even like winning a possession or something the whole crowd was getting super hype and it was a really nice venue to play at. Yeah. Um, you know, to have the, the, to have the year that you did on the field was, um, you know, scoring a lot, of, scoring a lot of goals and all that fun stuff. What made, what was, what was this year like, and what were some of your best memories from just this year alone? Just this year alone, I'd say, one of them was definitely scoring the game winner against Lake Orion earlier in the season. Yeah, that was. We kind cool. of, we played them in the off season a little bit, and you know things didn't go our way. We didn't play really good at all, and you know that kind of, kind of set the tone of the season, and then. Even improving throughout the season, we had like Forest Hill Central. We had a really bad first half, and then came back from four or five goals, and then came out on top. Like that was a great, that was a great game. Yeah, it was fun. Um, yeah, there there was a lot of other really good games. Like of course Rice, that was amazing feeling beating them, kind of in their area too, and um, like even beating Lake Orion again by a lot more in the quarterfinal was really cool. So. The Forest Hills game was fun. Of course, I was calling that game. So, um, yeah. so going, you know, to now kind of, have you had a chance to reflect back on everything now that, um, now that the season's over and all that? Yeah, it's definitely started to hit me. Uh, you know, each day that goes by is kind of like a new memory unlocked almost like, kind of like, I just like reminisce, but you know, it's sad, but you just kind of have to move on. Yeah. And obviously, um, 
you you talk about like but we'll we'll talk about what's next next but yeah but um you know talk about what coach what a coach levante has meant to this program and stuff yeah he's he's been like everything to this program i don't think we would even come close to where we came without him uh ever since he's been around our guys ever since we were in sixth seventh eighth even like maybe some younger maybe but I know I first met Coach Levante when I was playing club lacrosse for True and when I first started playing lacrosse in sixth grade. And then, you know, I just kind of followed him around and he was a great coach and I heard he was going to come become the Heartland lacrosse uh, head coach for the varsity team. And, you know, he moved to Juice Cherries. I followed him there. He's always been a huge mentor to me and, you know, I thank him for that. And he's been a great coach throughout all my lacrosse career and it's definitely going to be uh sad leaving him or not being able to be coached by him anymore but uh he's definitely done a lot for our program and I'm sure we're all thankful for that yeah absolutely so um you know you wrapped up like you know it's been uh it's been the interesting like few weeks for you because school's been over since like mid-may um yeah what, like what was that like for you just to you know um, like to get through the crop because you're you know obviously most some of some of the teams at school but a lot of you guys are like not with that not with a lot to do so um obviously yeah, it's... what was that like just the last few weeks when you know after graduation after all after a lot of that what was um you know what was it like to just get used to like you know not having to go to school with with you being done and all that what was what was that like I mean, it was really just like focus on lacrosse. It's all lacrosse now. And, you know, I think I honestly think that, you know, it kind of set our minds in on the season more. And I think we started honestly playing better when school kind of ended. Don't get me wrong. It was a very hectic uh, last few weeks with graduation and prom and, you know, all those senior kind of things that you have to do. But, you know, it really set up, set the tone for the postseason. And, you know, everyone just kind of locked in more and, I mean, it was for the better. Um, grad, when did you ever think like, you know, in graduation, you know, did you ever think that day would come? I mean, of course I knew it would come. It's just maybe not that fast. It definitely came a lot faster than I thought. And, you know, like it didn't really hit until, you know, after we walked out of East or Eastern Michigan or in, in that basketball facility that I'm like, damn, we we're really done and this is it. So it's kind of sad, but again, you just kind of got to move on and I'm excited for the next chapter. So, so you talk about moving on in the next chapter, but what is the next chapter? Yeah. So as of a few days ago, I plan on going to Michigan state and uh, you know, as of now, my freshman year, I probably will not be playing a sport. I won't be. And, you know, I'll just be working, uh, working my butt off and I think I mean there's definitely chances I could try to walk on at Michigan State for football or even play club lacrosse there but you know I think it was just for or my best decision or for my best interest and that's what the plan is yeah that's uh you know I know that you've always wanted to go to a big school um you know nothing you know nothing like a Big Ten University but yeah. um, what's that going to be like to go up to East Lansing and, you know, be a part of that culture? I mean, it's going to be fun, but like, I mean, I have, don't get me wrong. I'm a Michigan fan, but. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was, I was wondering if that was going to get mentioned. Yeah. I mean, can't say that around there, but no. yeah, it should be fun. I've heard a lot of good things about Michigan state. So I'm excited for that chapter in my life and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, to, to kind of recap everything, I know the summer is going to be jam packed and stuff, but you know, what will you always remember about your time just overall at Heartland? Honestly, just sports and the bonds I've made here because I don't think like, especially the lacrosse guys, I don't think it's very easy to make a bond anywhere else in a other school or anything like that with, the, like the bonds we've made it with our heart on the cross guys like we're all we've always been super close uh we've came up together we've kind of built the foundation or kind of or 
classes before us and us have we're kind of the foundation of heart and lacrosse and you know we're we did a lot for the program I, i'd say and so have the classes before us and i'm kind of glad we get to pass on the tor- torch to the uh younger guys that we're also really good friends with so but that was definitely it was definitely a great um experience being with all those guys all right well jacob thanks so much for the time as always and uh we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon okay yep thank you Casey.